This funfair marks not a carnival, but the Wittenberg Festival, its high point. The Wittenberg Festival is hosted by the city of Wittenberg in Sachsen-Anhalt. And uh, this is the city council, looking very proud and very colorful as it suits the occasion. Wittenberg is a city in Sachsen-Anhalt. It is very much at the heart of Germany and not only geographically. Lukas Kranach, a distinguished German painter and printer, lived here in the 16th century and he lived at the right time to paint numerous portraits of two very famous Germans, Martin Luther, the founder of the Protestant Church, and Philip Melanchthon, a Greek scholar and a relative of another German humanist and Greek scholar, Johannes Reuchlin. Arguably, Martin Luther is the best known figure of them all and one of the most influential German intellectuals of all time. He was a scholar at the university here when he published his famous 95 thesis that ignited the reformation of the church. The theses were variations on just one theme, protesting the papal indulgences and more generally questioning the purpose of pardoning sin in exchange for cash rather than a life of penance. In his own words from Thesis 1, when our Lord Jesus Christ said repent, he willed the entire life of believers to be one of repentance i.e. he did not mean one should buy a letter of indulgence from the Pope. Thesis 27 They preach only human doctrines who say that as soon as the money clings into the money chest, the soul flies out of purgatory and into heaven. The sale of indulgences was seen as financing the building of St. Peter's Cathedral at the Vatican, and inasmuch as they were donations, they might have been well received, but Luther derided them all through his 95 Theses as purported promises of salvation. Why does not the Pope, whose wealth is today greater than the wealth of the richest Crassus, build this one basilica of St. Peter with his own money, rather than with the money of poor believers. The 95 Theses were nailed on the door of the castle church, whose campanile towers over the city. On it, it is written, Ein feste Burg ist unser Gott. A mighty fortress is our God the opening line from the well-known hymn written by Luther. Both Martin Luther and Philip Melanchthon are buried here. This is the place where Luther's 95 Theses were nailed on the 31st of October 1517. This is not the original door. The original door has perished, but this one has served as its monument. The painting above the door shows Martin Luther on the left with a Bible, and Philip Melanchthon on the right with the town of Wittenberg in the background. Here is the Church of St. Mary, where some important paintings of local Cranach are housed with religious themes, including one commemorating a sermon by Martin Luther in this church. Above it is a triptych commemorating the Last Supper. The centerpiece is by Lucas Granach, the elder, and shows the painter handing a handkerchief to Martin Luther, whose beard reminds of the Saxon elector George, who was one of the main supporters of Luther. The side panels are by Lucas Granach, the younger, and on the left, Philip Melanchthon can be seen standing over the font. There is something odd about placing these contemporaries of Cranach, who presumably paid for making this painting in the place of the apostles and their servants, considering Luther's own caution at the treasures of the gospel being as nets with which one fishes for the wealth of men, by whose donations the church was enriched. 
presumably Lucas Cranach was well-meaning and could not see the hint of hubris in this painting portraying his wealthy donors on the side of Christ and the apostles, which differs little from the very thing Luther was protesting against. Wittenberg during the Luther festival is a busy place with street artists and street side bakeries and the characteristic sprawl of craft stalls and beer cellars and general myth and merry making that one can find whenever German festivities take place with all kinds of people from all kinds of places including one person from Greece. And before I leave the atmosphere to speak for itself, a few random glimpses of the town, here of the town hall dating from 1523, the Bayer court once owned by Christian Bayer, the university chancellor, the market square with a pharmacy of Lucas Cranach in the background. Lucas Cranach being a pharmacist in addition to being a painter, printer and mayor of the city. And now I will leave you on the path from the funny and more worldly to the more serious and more otherworldly side of the Wittenberg festival. Woo! <laughs>